Hey guys, it's Morning Coffee. We are going to be getting right back into our logical fallacies, and today we are doing the anecdotal logical fallacy. And this logical fallacy is using the personal experience or an isolated example instead of a valid argument, especially to, to dismiss statistics. And I don't know why I just got tongue tied there. Um, it is often much easier for people to believe someone's testimony as opposed to understanding variation across a continuum. Scientific and statistical measures are almost always more accurate than individual perceptions and experiences. And here's your example. Jason said that Jason said that that was all cool and everything, but his grandfather smoked like 30 cigarettes a day and lived until 97. So don't believe everything you read about meta-analysis of sound studies showing proven causal relationships. And I think that's a good one. Um, I think people use this on a daily basis, so it's easy for us to take examples from people that are around us to kind of, um, I guess, dismiss um, the studies that are out there. The downside to this one is you never really know if the studies that you're reading about are true either, because um, there's so much, um, I don't want to say false news, right, but there's, there's so much misleading media and misleading content out there um, these days that you can't really decide a, a lot of time if, if the studies that you're reading are true or if the articles you're reading are true. So um, I think the bottom line with this one is don't just believe something is wrong because someone has a personal experience that may um, counteract what this study or this article is saying. But again, go back, do your homework, read the articles and, and, and look for genuine studies that are that are true or that you can believe um, and, and go with those. Uh, it's very easy, I think. Also, you know, Jason may say that his grandfather smoked 30 cigarettes a day until he was 97, but just like the studies that you read or the articles you might be reading online or on the news may be false, Jason may also just be completely lying his ass off because Jason just wants to make a point and he's going to come up with some example uh, that completely disproves um, what you believe, so you believe what he believes. So just keep that in mind. Um, uh, I think secondarily to that, don't be Jason. So uh, don't be the guy or the girl that's going to be giving people false examples or false testimonies, um, just so you can make a point. And that kind of wraps up your logical fallacy for today. Um, same with everything else. Always use sound judgment, study things, try and find real data, look for real content, um, and, and look for sound, uh, sound data and, and advice that you can, you can make your decisions on. And also be truthful in what you say to others. Um, and don't just, you know, use examples that disprove what's out there. All right, guys, thank you. Have a good day and I'll see you later.